Hi Libras, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Projection. Someone may be projecting their energy on you or something like that, vice versa, however it is. But I just heard a projection, okay? So most important messages for the sign of... Libra. All right, we have the full card, a leap of faith, a new beginning. Aries energy could be involved with one. Um, set, Knight of Swords, and then we have the Seven of Swords. Someone could have made a foolish decision or something like that, feeling some, something like a fool. But anyways, new beginnings. Okay, Libra. More messages for the sign of Libra. All right, we have a situation here. So as quick as something begins, it ends. The World card, the Five of Swords, a fight. The magician, magician card, and then a temperance card. Someone tries to pick a fight or an argument with you. Um, I guess it didn't phase you. You didn't care. You like whatever. More messages for Libra. Fixed energy. There we have Capricorn, the devil. All right. It's I guess it's time to um, close some type of chapters with some type of toxic, devilish energy, person, entity, or whatever. We have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone being has been worried. Could be a Capricorn here though. The Nine of Swords with the Knight of Swords, and then that Seven of Swords. Someone has been lying, trying to get away with something. Worried about I guess if they're gonna get away with it or not. I'm not sure if they're gonna get away with it. All right. So look, I cannot make this dish up. We have the Justice card coming out for you all. We have all majors for you, Libra. The Justice card. That is your energy, though. Something is going to be balanced out. Someone's been playing with fire, playing with the devil. All right? However it is, you know, you take it how it resonates. How it resonates but Fab Swords back at the bottom of the deck, picking a fight, wanting a fight. What's the full card? Somebody been acting like a dang on fool then. What's the full card? So the chariot card in this page of swords yeah something was moving right along right the page of swords um i guess someone notices how someone is moving how how something is happening the four of swords taking a break resting um someone pulls back they pull back maybe because you peaked you seen that they was on some bs or something like that so you decided to pull back like nah that ain't working you you, you toxic something like that right chills chills so it has something to do with this someone was causing heartbreak pain distraction um deception <laughs> uh the three of swords work but while i'm getting this energy is someone like someone also tried to work it out the same person that was trying to cause pain was also trying to smooth things out what is that called i forgot what that's called more messages if it comes i'm gonna say it what's the world card it's a term Like for the people who cause the chaos are the ones who come and try to fix it. Give me a sec. We have the Eight of Pentacles with the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Some, maybe it's some type of work you were doing or something like that that's done and over with. You don't want to uh, be involved with this job at this, this particular place. Uh, particular establishment or something like that establishment or something like that the high priest is just you're following your intuition about something that may be um it might not make you feel good may make you feel sad or something like that or it might make you feel like you don't have enough time for yourself or something like that let me see something about tuning things out i might it might just be for me a message for me but let me see what's the Devil card, we have the seven of pentacles waiting. <laughs> Excuse me. I instantly heard waiting to exhale. Isn't that the movie where she went over there and set the car on fire? Yeah. She put somebody might have been cheating on you. Or you know, you seen a situation where somebody was someone was cheating, that someone was ready, somebody ready to blow the F up. I don't know. Um, destroy some ish. So the seven of cups, the two of swords, indecisiveness and confusion because of, of confusion. Someone was trying to see something. Okay. Someone was waiting for something to come in. Someone was wait, was ready to move forward. Someone was ready to maybe get into a relationship or for someone to work with them. 
there was some confusion involved where um I, I guess it was a, a decision that couldn't be made or just plain no confusion something was stalled we have seven of pentacles waiting it's like the devil was lurking type of energy what's the What's the justice card causing some type of confusion? It could be a person that you were involved with. What's the justice card? Justice is coming in though, right? Um, so whatever. We have the strength card. All right. Leo energy. Someone may have been feeling like they was giving up hope. Feeling like they didn't have the strength of power. We have um, fight the power. Um, we have the queen of cups energy. Love. Uh ingenuity is creating something new right i'm just i'm hearing that word so someone's creating something new or whatever uh the two of wands taking a different approach with how a person feels emotionally there's a pisces cancer it's scorpio energy taking a different approach reuniting and it feels so good ah oh. All right, someone's strength brings in some type of balance. Let's move on. <laughs> What's the chariot card? The nine of wands, ready to give up, tired, exhausted. Someone was probably tired of dealing with a dealing with a fool because you recognize someone was a fool. That's why I stopped. You like, wait, I'm not gonna work on this. Why would I work on this? This is this is foolish, right? Something like that. The eight of wands, communication. So we have Sash here. Sagittarius, and then we have Hanky Man seeing things differently with Pisces energy with competition. So seeing competition differently, seeing the competition dif differently, seeing other people involved in the competition differently. Um, okay. Nine of Pentacles, independence, taking care of oneself with the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. What's this strength card? The Ten of Wands, burdens, 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 carrying burdens, weight. Yeah, someone has been carrying a lot of burdens, but justice is coming in here with the Eight of Wands, walking away from people, places, things that do not serve you, walking right towards your destiny. Renew, open faith, and then we have um, a Lover's Energy, which is made, like decision making, or you could be walking into a relationship, King of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Oh, you know what I'm seeing here, Libra? You might be walking towards a situation where... Um, it's like you just know that's your person. You're like, damn, I'm going to marry that person. That person going to be my, my wife. That person going to be my husband, however it is, you know, okay? However it is. Someone know. They gonna they just going to know. <laughs> um, or it's like it's just knowing what to do. So, I wanted to get a few messages. What's this page of, sword, page of swords doing? What was it doing? What, was, what is it doing? That could just be you, right? So, we have the, the sun card. It could have... Could you have been watching like a Leo or something that could have made you happy? This could be a younger Libra Gemini Aquarius energy also. But it's not like were you watching this individual or something that was making you happy, make you feel good, the page of wands, something that, that was that you thought was turn some things around. Wait, what's this? What is this? I don't know. Let's see, what's the sun? The Ten of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Empress card, Divine Feminine Energy. Someone was watching this energy. You were learning how to be happy. You were learning how to be happy like with yourself, building, working on yourself, being the Empress type of energy. It's like doing work on doing working on yourself, but then maybe it was a person or some type of energy you started to get involved with, but yet it was toxic, and then you just had to end that because like karma come back quickly or something like that. Like, wait, that I don't need to be involved with that. That ain't working. What's this eight of pentacles? I'd rather be happy type of energy. Look at this. So we have the seven of cups that falls out in my life lap in reverse. Uh a certain level of confusion. But this is almost as if a person made a choice, but um not like that though because what i'm really getting is like like super stupid not knowing what to do you know what i'm getting here like well a person is working doing something but every time you do something it's like it just falls like what the hell did i just it just breaks or something like that you put all that work into it and then it just didn't work that's what I'm getting there. 
put a whole lot of work into something and it just didn't work. The high priest is following one's intuition about success. But then we have the four of pentacles, which is holding back. And then someone feeling like they messed up. I'm telling you, it seems like you were looking for set success out of one situation. But it's like that success wasn't, it didn't come out of that. It didn't come out of that. What's the seven of cups in reverse? What's the seven of cups in reverse for Libra? The three of swords. Yeah, someone... I'm telling you, I cannot make this up. Masculine energy. Someone was heartbroken after this. Someone thought this was going uh, in one way, but it didn't. Tower card. Sudden shift. Teach and learn experience with the higher friend card. There you are right there. Queen of swords. Something about maybe you have a compassion for yourself. Others. Have you ever tried sleeping with a broken heart? So, um, what's, what's the seven of... Pentacles. Why was the Seven of Pentacles here with the Devil card? Why was the Devil and the Seven of Pentacles together? What is this? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone was being very impulsive. Someone just doing stuff. Someone, somebody wasn't making no dang on sense. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of the the, the the Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Hermit card. It seemed like a person was focused on destruction, lower vibrational energy. So that's what, you know, in the Bible, it's like um, the devil was there to steal, kill, destroy, that type of energy. That's how this energy was focused on, destruction. I'll take you out. Whatever. Um, have have an energy only, right? So someone doing did their work, doing their work, you become successful, you bringing in good karmic justice for yourself. Justice. What was the Knight of Wands doing then? Being impulsive. What was the Knight of Wands doing? Being impulsive. Being a dang on liar. A liar. A cheater. Deceiver. Heartbreaker. So um, we have the Queen of Wands there at the bottom of the deck. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. All right, there's the battle. There's the composition. Could it have been with a Leo? Okay. Or did, was you fighting with this person? You watched them, you know. Go through the smoke or something like that. You went through the smoke. Um, some lies of deception is going on though. Hanging man, seeing things differently. I said, what was this knight of sword? Knight of knight of wands doing seven of swords, lying. Queen of wands. Um, maybe you knew somebody who was lying about this individual or something like that. What is that noise? Sound like somebody out there howling, like a dang on wolf or something. Somebody probably out there transforming. What is that metamorphosis and stuff? You gotta watch these people. They not being who they truly seem to be. <laughs> What's the seven of uh, swords? Who was they lying about? That they knew what they knew that they but they didn't. Pretentious. Being pretentious? Yeah, someone was acting like they knew what they knew, but they did. And now, of course, a lot of worry, doubt, five of pentacles about lack thereof, energy, not getting what someone wants. It was a narcissistic energy. I'm going to move forward, okay? Um, what's the advice? What's the advice for Libra? And Libra, that's you with that three of swords, too, right? I didn't even check that out. I didn't say it. Um, I guess probably didn't matter at the moment. What's the advice for Libra? So we have to be ha be happy, be happy. I, was, I can't, I can't hear. I couldn't catch it. It's a tune. Um, be happy. Okay, just be happy. King of Pentacles, control your emotions. Six of Cups may have something to do with children, siblings, something like that. And the Ten of, ten of Swords being betrayed, maybe feeling like you were betrayed in the past, or as a child. What's this Nine of Cups? Why are we receiving this as Eight of Swords? self imposing imprisonment. I think you were in your head about your happiness, but something about you healing. Allow yourself to heal. Follow your intuition about the healing process. Build. Follow your heart. Okay? Love yourself first. And work on your, um, I heard material. Work on your material. But work on mastering your craft, okay? Anything else as the advice for Libra? Mm-hmm. I think, um... You all, there was a connection that you couldn't quite get away from. It was like you was attached to this person for whatever our reason. We have the three of cups. I think you finally get an understanding about uh, either a third party situation or that you, um, like some type of good feelings, good vibes with this energy, with this particular person. So we have the hyphen, the teaching and learning experience or, um, 
something about someone being reliable because I heard the goat someone being reliable what's this two of cups I am dropping all type of cards now so we have the high priestess following one's intuition about maybe a relationship or a connection that a person may have been stuck in okay worried about maybe being without or something like that what's this high priestess like make sure you be happy regardless the eight of wands communicating then ten of pentacles abundance um six of pentacles behind there it's like receiving what you deserve but while i'm hearing something about like uh I, that makes sense when like receiving an abundance and then if you could like share your share your wealth share your profits what am i looking for i can't even find a word right now but helping others okay helping others giving to a foundation or something like that i guess that's for someone out there but connect with the people who 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 you truly connect with make make surround yourself with happy individuals that's what we at to pull that meaning cards just to get that moving on we're gonna get a message from the oracle like that was clear as day with the three of cups that was at the bottom of the deck when i pulled the nine of cups and uh, uh i don't know i can't remember whatever <laughs> most important message for the sign of libra most important message for the sign of libra we have the fates and then we have imagining at the bottom of the deck in reverse so maybe you feel like what you imagined imagined to happen it didn't work out the way you expected it okay so you feel like um dreams won't come to reality but i still believe it it's still possible i'm going to read that to make sure what's going on but let's read the face okay number 17 it says fate karma right acceptance that things are that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are the serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by, the, by nature, and by your past experiences may be faded, preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your, in the cards, excuse me, in your cards to understand why certain events occur, but you can accept the mystery and work with those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. I felt like I read that wrong, but honestly, I'm just going to continue. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. It may not be in the cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. I went back anyway. So let's move forward to number 20. <laughs> Here we go. It says, uh, we got to do the reverse, right? Protection message. Illusions and wishful thinking. Oh, here we go. So I was slightly wrong. Illusions and wishful thinking rooted in a sense of lack have entered into your life. Um... Now may be the time to see things as they truly are and not as you hoped for, hoped or imagined they would be. Release any fear, then envision anew. Perhaps you are anticipating that something fearful might happen and recreating that same image of disaster over and over in your mind. The universe responds to no such project to the un the universe responds to such projections. So be aware of this catastrophiz catastrophizing. No matter what illusions and awfulizing are a misuse of imagination. Clear the inner slate and stay grounded. Stay real. Only then you can truly have what you desire. Come on now. Be authentic, y'all. Let's be honest. Be authentic. Be real. Be true to you, Libra. I'm going to leave it here. That was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated. How I resonated. Leave a like, share all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.